Hello, this is Brian Resney, President of Resney Wealth Management. I'm bringing you an important update, not only about the economy, but the investment market, so you can better understand what we see in the global landscape. You know, we had a couple great numbers this week, not only retail sales, but the ISM manufacturing, non-manufacturing numbers that came out better than expected. Bottom line is this, folks, the U.S. economy is slowly getting better. That whole uh, 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 debt ceiling debacle that was talked about, of course, was pushed off until the beginning of the year. Again, another moot point. There's always something to be concerned about. There's always some issue. At the end of the day, that noise needs to be taken out of your portfolio decisions. At Resney Wealth Management, we run a strict strategy which includes risk management. Our strategy is highly adaptable to changing investment conditions. And we do not just look at the stock and bond market, but we look at all asset classes. And there could be times where we hold significant amounts of cash or short uh, various investment sectors. What's interesting is this. Europe yesterday uh, essentially downplayed or brought down their GDP forecast for next year. Again, brought it down but positive. Europe is coming out of their long-term recession. Again, another positive. We had China come out and essentially make a statement that they are putting a ceiling or a bottom on their GDP growth. They're looking to stimulate their economy as well. And I would firmly believe that other emerging market nations will do the same thing. So at the end of the day, what this tells me is this. While there will be little bumps in the road, I firmly believe that we will continue on a more prosperous course uh, throughout the rest of this year, and we have a good possibility in 2014. Again, avoid the news or the noise that basically is, is not important in the investment decision process at Resney Wealth Management. We avoid all of that noise and news because we know that it's only going to screw up portfolio returns. We have uh, updated our website. If you're a client or not a client of Resney Wealth Management, visit ResneyWealth.com. Tell us what you think of our new website and send us an email at BrianResney at ResneyWealth.com. Tell us what you think or what you'd like to see included in the website. We'd like to hear from you. We also have updated our blog. In the future, we are not going to be releasing our newsletter anymore. We're going to take that information and add it to our blog our investment insights at our Resney Wealth Management uh, website. If you'd like to sign up to continue to get our, the information that we put out each and every week, and it'll be even more timely because when you, set, uh, when you sign up for the blog, it's automatically sent to your email box every time we write a new article or a market update. So go to ResneyWealth.com and you will see uh, uh, investor resources essentially sign up for our Market Insight blog. It's a great place to sign up, get good quality information, again, without the conflicts of Wall Street or so-called advisors. Two articles that we posted on our blog this week, and I normally do not do this, uh, but basically there were a couple great articles, one written by Motley Fool about can Edward Jones um, served their client's best interest. It was basically not just about Edward Jones, but they used Edward Jones as the poster child for the whole broker industry. So whether it's Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, or one of the other 2,000 independent broker dealers, the bottom line is this. The article is written about all of those firms, and it tells you the conflicts that you, the investor, unfortunately are going to be subject to if you're not working with a fee-only firm like Resney Wealth Management. Now, the title was, Can Edward Jones uh, essentially work in your best interest? Absolutely not. Edward Jones is not a fee-only fiduciary money manager. They are a broker-dealer. They do fee-based planning. So at the end of the day, they are never going to be fee-only. They can never serve their client's interest 100% of the time in a legal obligation to serve their client's best interest. That's simple. In fact, you can go to their website and you can download their brokerage account agreements to tell you you're in a brokerage account and they're not working in a fiduciary capacity. That's a big difference. That's one benefit clients of Resident Wealth Management have is working with a firm that doesn't have any of these conflicts of interest of any Wall Street firm or commission-based or fee-based firm. We work 100% in our client's legal best interest and hold ourselves out as a true fiduciary. The other article that we posted was written by Bloomberg. This is a great article about managed futures. Managed futures are sold by all the big brokerage houses. In fact, uh, it, the, this particular article not only cites uh, a lot of the broker-dealers, but it really hammered on Morgan Stanley, who was a big seller of managed futures. Bottom line, brokerage firms manufacture products like managed futures to generate fees and commissions for themselves. In fact, the article was titled, How Can You Lose 89% of Your Game? 
Simple, go buy one of these managed futures funds. Even though the funds made almost $500 million of profit for the investor, all that profit was taken away and another $9 million uh, based upon all the expenses. The expenses were higher than the profit. These things are toxic to investors. What's interesting is I've had three or four clients just in the last couple months that have hired Resney Wealth Management that worked with firms like this that sold them managed futures. And what the brokers told these investors is, hold on to those managed futures funds, they'll come back. Bottom line is, these brokerage firms want you to hang on to these expensive, uh, riddled investments because it lines their pocket more than yours. That's again one of the reasons why you want to avoid the conflicts of Wall Street and broker dealers because their interests often are substantially different than you, the investor. So again, if a firm is not fee only and none of the broker dealers can ever be fee only, conflicts of interest are going to arise in your accounts and that's an important thing that you want to understand as an investor. I'm glad to say few firms like Resident Wealth Management can claim to be fee only and be 100% fiduciary all the time. I want to talk a little bit more again about the economy and what we're seeing. Improvement, slow improvement, but improvement. We're going to continue to obviously run our detailed strategy which includes risk management. One of the important aspects that we see in the economy improving is the equity markets. At the end of the day, unfortunately, the vast majority of investors own stock and bond related investments only. New clients come into our firm every single month and I continue to see investors who overloaded the boat in bond investments. No investment goes straight up and no investment goes straight down. They steer step up and they often steer step down. Bonds are a great example of this. While at Resney Wealth Management we have completely reduced our exposure to long dated, intermediate and even pretty much short dated uh, traditional bond investments weren't floating rate securities, interest rates are slowly moving up. They don't go straight up. In fact, we hit about a 3% high on the 10 year about a month and a half ago. That retreated back down to 2.5% and it's back on the move to 2.7. I firmly believe this is an opportunity for investors who overloaded the boat in bonds. Again, these would not be clients of Res Resney Wealth Management. We were to reduce that exposure. But if you're not a client and you haven't listened to our update videos, you need to take a second look at your portfolio and make sure you reduce your bond exposure from anything more than a three year maturity or longer should not be in your portfolio. Take profits or protect your portfolio by reducing exposure to bonds, especially any maturities greater than three years. We're gonna have a live TV show tonight, and of course we're gonna have a live radio show this Sunday. If you are not in the viewing area for our TV show, it will be uploaded by noon tomorrow. And of course our uh, radio show is available throughout the country, not only via uh, live the station, but also through our website or through the local stations uh, web so you can get our program anywhere in the world. If you're a client of Resident Wealth Management, please call our office with any of your questions. If you're not a client and you're realizing a second opinion might be what you need, call our office for a consultation. We always like taking on new clients who are good to do business with. Have yourself a safe and profitable day.